the Jameson Dublin International Film Festival highlights the cream of talent working in the Irish film industry at the moment. Cinematographer Kate McCullough, actor Darren Healy and writer-director Connor Horgan are this year's nominees. So Darren Healy, first of all, congratulations on being one of the Irish Talent Spotlight nominees for the festival this year. How do you feel about the nomination? Great, yeah, no, it was, it was a shock, it was a surprise, but it's uh, it's great to be nominated and great to win things and great to be a part of something like this. It's a great buzz here today, so yeah, no, it's really good. Yeah, it's been a bit of a roller coaster over the last while, but um, yeah, to be nominated has been really great. Um, we've had a, a couple of uh, wins over the last two weeks, so we're just kind of on a permanent bubble, <laughs> so this is just kind of added into the mix um, it's been really great and yeah. you have not one but two films showing in the festival this year can you tell us briefly a little bit about them the first one is 100 mornings which is my uh, debut as a feature film director uh, that was shown in Galway last year and then we showed it here uh, just last Saturday in the Screen Cinema first time in my hometown first screening in my hometown hometown a sellout crowd and it went really really well we actually we had really good fun actually doing the Q&A afterwards as well with Gorney Humphreys from the, the festival and then last night we had the world premiere of a documentary I've just finished on portrait painters called The Beholder which uh, again got a, a tremendous response we were really pleased with the response we got How important is this film festival to the film industry in Ireland? I think it, it's in, incredibly important, you know. I mean, for years, you know, there were really... The, the other two main festivals were kind of a li- maybe a little bit stronger, a little bit more industry-based. But uh, just over the last number of years, there's been a lot more people coming in from abroad, a lot more kind of very significant people coming from abroad, and a lot of interest abroad as well. I mean, we'll be putting up a, our laurels on our film's website saying, you know, official selection, Dublin International Film Festival, and... Uh, very proud to, to have two films here. That's huge because it, it gives the likes of Connor Barry and SP Films and all these little people, not little people, but a sort of smaller companies, the chance to get their films out there. This country's film industry be lost without it, so it's absolutely amazing. I think it's great, I mean, especially in Dublin, um, because, you know, we have Cork and, and Belfast and uh, in Galway also, but I think it's nice uh, in the capital city. Now, I'm not from Dublin. <laughs> I sound like I'm, you know, a real Dublin, but, um, you yeah, know, it's, it's nice just to get um, people out to the cinema to see... Um, you know, something a bit offbeat that they mightn't normally go to, um, even at our screening of His and Hers on Friday. You know, I got family and friends to come along, and, and you know, they hadn't seen some of my work before, so it was just nice to, to get them out and, you know, see them come into the screen cinema, and like, oh, this is very exciting, you know, all the familiar faces in the crowd, so, yeah, that was lovely. Trevor Groth, Director of Programming of the Sundance Film Festival, welcome to the Jameson Dublin International Film Festival. Um, is it your first visit here? It is my first visit to the film festival, and I've been to Dublin one other time about 18 years ago, so I was really looking forward to uh, getting back, and when I got the invitation to come here, I jumped at it. Is there a film on the program that you are a particular soft spot for, or one that you're definitely going to be going to see? Well, there's a, there's a number of films here that I would love to see that I haven't seen yet. I do have a particular soft spot for one film I have already seen, though, and that's His and Hers, uh, the, the documentary by Ken Wardrop uh, that we showed at this past Sundance Film Festival, and it won one of our prizes there, and it really dazzled our audiences. Are there any personal highlights in the program this year, any films that you're definitely going to be going to see? Just me, own. I know, I'm only joking. <laughs> <laughs>